Hi there, welcome back to the vlog. It's been a while. Things have happened. Um, so as you can see, we're back in the shred shed. So obviously we're home. Um, so you haven't seen us in about, oh wow, two weeks, two or three weeks. Um, so yeah, there's like been an update. Um, we're home, we traveled, we sat in a hotel for quarantine. We sat at home for quarantine. So, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so before that all happened of traveling and hotel quarantine, um, we had one last meet down in Azusa. So, Caro triple jumped, obviously. It'd be weird if she did anything else, shot put or something. Um, and then I actually did pole vault. So, the week leading up to the meet, um, I was able to get back running without any discomfort in my uh, hamstring. Um, so yeah, my hamstring was tweaked from like three weeks ago. Um, so everything kind of felt good leading into the meet. So I was just like, okay, well, we're gonna have to go home, quarantine, and then there's not gonna be a meet for like a while because we were still in lockdown here. Um, so I was like, might as well just like compete down there. One last like hurrah. Um, so I did pole vault down there. So the warm up went well. Um, there's actually a lot of like really good jumpers there. Like there's a couple guys that jumped 570 before and then like 550, five meters. So it was a good meet. I was feeling good. Um, it was warm, perfect uh, tailwind. So I came in at 465. Um, at by that point, it was a little bit of a um, break in between the warm up and my jump. So I like kind of just like didn't jump well on my first attempt, and then once I got my legs under me, uh, my second attempt got over it perfectly fine. Um, and then went up a pole, and then it went to 480 next, and then I hit 480 on my first attempt. Felt like really good, easy, and then. It went to 4.95 and my PB is five meters. So I was like, okay, like I'm feeling good. So I had to go up a pole again. So it was on the biggest pole that I've been on in quite a long time. Um, and then it just kind of like felt a little bit weird, um, but I missed it on all my attempts. I can't actually remember if they were close or not. Yes, yes, they were close actually, yes. Is it empty though? Hit him with my like the death was off a little bit and I think I hit it with my chest or something. Um so yeah, no hamstring pain. Um and it was good just to like compete one last time. Uh we saw the people that we were training with down in Santa Barbara, so it was nice to like see them before we left and yeah, so that was my meet, my surprise meet. And Vicky didn't know that I was doing that until I told her after what I jumped. So that was fun. Okay, so for me, it was always the plan that I was going to triple jump, um, but if you remember from the last vlog, the week before at Mount Sac, I was dealing with some hamstring pain, so we kind of like swapped hamstring pain. I had like an okay week of training that week, like I still felt my hamstring a little bit, but it wasn't really holding me back as much as it was the week before. Um, so then when Taylor was pole vaulting, um, right before he started, I did my warm up on the track in Azusa and stuff, and did some approach runs like in my pre-comp warm-up and like majorly felt my hamstring in those run-throughs so at that point I was like okay well I guess it's still a problem and I wasn't actually sure at that time if I would be able to compete um the following day but warm-up the next day went pretty good like I did feel a little bit hesitant in my approach runs but my short approach jumps felt really good so I was like okay, same mentality as Taylor like we're not gonna be able to compete for a while again after this so like let's just make the most of this and not go home in a bad mood wasn't quite successful in that went home in a bit of a bad mood I think all of my jumps were between 1331 and 1339 and I think I got all six in so like like I said I was feeling a little bit hesitant in my run but like the jumps themselves felt okay like they felt further than what they were so I don't know. It was it was disappointing. It's not really the outcome we wanted to come home with, but it is what it is. And I personally am just kind of seeing like everything that happened down there as like the prelude 
to what really matters now now we're really ready like i can only imagine how we would be feeling if we were only opening our seasons now so yeah i was just like bummed that things were going really well like a few weeks prior and then i had those two kind of subpar meets in a row you know under 1350 and i feel like that kind of like took the wind out of my sails a little bit um and only to have to go home and like sit in quarantine for two weeks so i was like a little bit worried about like you know my mental state and stuff but um powered through and i'm feeling excited for the next opportunity to compete and get back to it so after that that was saturday um we came home on sunday or we started the journey home on sunday um so if you've been kind of living under a rock as of late um when you fly internationally into canada you can only go into four uh airports um and we couldn't get to toronto with the poles so we had to go to vancouver and then that's our first stop so we had to do the hotel quarantine in vancouver it would have been nice to get to toronto and do it and then we could just like right when we get the results we can just like drive home um but alas that's not what happened was that a moira a little bit yeah. oh my god we've been watching too much shit's creep um <laughs> You, David, <laughs> David. Wolf. Um, so yeah, we had to do the hotel quarantine there. But anywho, there's like a really short clip of that. Hotel quarantine, need I say more? So yesterday um, we arrived in Vancouver and because Vancouver was our first Canadian destination. We have to do our mandatory three-day hotel quarantine here. Um, so we are in Vancouver. We got here yesterday early afternoon um, and we already have our negative COVID result from when we landed. So we are free to leave. So we got our ticket rebooked for this afternoon. But when you book, you have to book for three nights and it's non-refundable, so that's really annoying. Um, and we now have like a $600 food credit that is obviously going to go unused because instead of being here for three days, we're here for less than 24 hours. So anyways, basically we woke up to our negative result and 30 seconds later Taylor was on the phone ordering eight mimosas. So that's how I know he's my soulmate. In the end, like, hotel quarantine was, like, no biggie. We were, like, really dreading it, but because it's so short and, you know, we're at a hotel where you actually get some choice in what you're eating. It's not just, like, what you're seeing online where they just, like, bring, like, slop to your room. It was fine. Um, but it's just annoying how expensive it was, obviously, and that we're not even going to be here for two of the three days. But anyways, um, Taylor is over there washing Tupperware that the food we ordered came in because he has a thing for good quality Tupperware and he just thinks it's really great. It's not good quality Tupperware, it's just like good Tupperware that like if you can pack like a dinner in it, it's great. You Tupperware, Tupperware always breaks, so I just never buy the best Tupperware because it will break at some point. You know our bags are overweight, right? Yeah. Okay. We're just going to finish the rest of our mimosas, which could be problematic, could be fantastic, I guess we'll find out, and uh, pack our things up and head to the airport and go home and see our big guy. Just wanted to give you a little glimpse into hotel quarantine and um, let you know that we made it. Well, not really. We're still like an entire country away from where we need to be, but it's fine. We're almost home. Right. This is why you're my person. Yeah, it was quick. Um, and then we were able to surprise Chuck. So 
that was nice. He was super excited to see us. Yeah, we've just kind of been doing what we can. That first week of quarantine, we just kind of like relaxed, recovered from the travel, got organized, got back situated at home. I don't really know what we did that first week. It went by pretty fast. We were just like unpacking and doing laundry on laundry on laundry on laundry. Um, and then the second week we started, you know, hit the gym a little harder. I did some bounding in the backyard, did some bike workouts, just kind of like doing what we could um, to not lose too much fitness. So yeah, we are officially free. Tomorrow will be our first day at the track. We are not training at Western University because that track is being redone. But fortunately, um, there's a new high school track that will get the job done in the area. So um, we will be training there. So yeah, we haven't been vlogging the past like two weeks because we've just kind of been like sitting around recovering, doing little stuff here and there. So yeah, that's it. So we're gonna start the vlog train back up, show you guys the track, show you the workouts. Um, we should have a couple meets. Uh, thought the dog was going into the garden he's not um yeah we have a couple meets uh lined up right now so yeah uh if you don't want to miss it sorry <laughs> he's just like what are you doing are you in the garden we saw you um so yeah, if you don't want to miss any of those, uh, if you want to see the training that we're doing. Jack! No! Oh. Oopsie. Sorry guys. Moment of appreciation for the garden that Chuck's acidic piss has not yet destroyed. Um, so yeah, like, subscribe, follow along, and thank you. Um, just kidding, it's not over yet. I also wanted to thank everybody for all the supportive messages on the last vlog, which was the Mount Sac vlog, which was a really heartbreaking experience for me. Um, I really, really appreciate everyone's kind messages and support and encouragement. Um, means a lot, really does. Um, I'm starting to pick myself up from that and just feeling, uh, excited. Excited to get back to it. I know it's still in me, so... Um, I'm just excited for the opportunity to try again. Bye. That's Bye again. Okay.